Hi, this is Mrs Sykes, and today we're going to have a look at how we calculate magnification. The equation that we need, magnification equals image size over actual size, is quite straightforward to use. What it means is the magnification number, the number of the amount of times we have zoomed in, is calculated by measuring the size of the picture and dividing it by how big that cell is in real life. Now we can change this into a formula triangle that you should be familiar with. So we would have image size at the top over the actual and over magnification. If we want to find out magnification, we cover the one that we don't know and we are left with image size over actual size, which is what we've already got written up here. If we were trying to calculate the actual size of something, we would cover over the one that we don't know and have image over magnification. And if we were trying to work out what the image size was, then we would cover image and we would have actual times magnification. But today we're not doing that, we're only sticking with this way round. Magnification is image divided by actual size. And what we want to know is how much this picture is zoomed in. So to do that, we have to do a little bit of maths. If you have a millimetre scale ruler, i.e. it goes up in tens instead of single numbers, go grab that one now. If you are using a centimetre ruler, your scale is so much more complicated than it needs to be. I'm going to use a centimetre ruler to show you the extra steps that are needed, but if you have a millimetre ruler, do use it, it'll make your life easier. So, first thing that we have to do then is to measure this scale bar. So it's already told us that this bar here represents 200 micrometers or micrometers, whichever you prefer. So this 200 micrometers is the actual size. So you set your ruler and as accurately as you can measure that. So I have got M equals 200 micrometers and then I've got six centimetres as my measured value. Now that is not how we do this calculation. We have to have these units to be the same. So we need to convert correctly. Now if you had measured this in millimetres, this would be a whole load easier. Centimetres are a band unit. Do not use them, get rid of them, never ever ever use them. So we've got 60 millimetres is the same as six centimetres. If you're in millimetres already, you only need to multiply up or divide by 1,000. Centimetres make things confusing. Stick with millimetres. We need to get millimetres into micrometres. Now, one millimetre is a thousand micrometres, and 0 0.001 millimetres is one micrometre. So if we're wanting to change this into micrometres, we're expecting it to be a big number. So when you have a go on this on your calculator, if your number suddenly starts small, you know you've messed up somewhere. So, most of you won't need a calculator for this, but some of you will. So 60 millimetres, and we're timesing up by 1,000 to change from one unit to the other. So we're now getting 60,000 micrometres. And I'm now going to write that out neatly and do the rest of the calculation. Magnification, 60,000 micrometres, always put your unit on, by 200 micrometres. Again, some of you won't really need to be doing this on the calculator, but some of you will. 60,000 divided by 200 gives us... 300 times bigger. So a magnification of 300 times. Now, light microscopes and electron microscopes can zoom in different amounts. Light microscopes can zoom in up to 1,500. Electron microscopes up to a million. So it's definitely not an electron microscope. To be honest, I knew that anyway because it's too fuzzy. A light microscope, 300 times, that's pretty sensible. Please with that. I'm now going to do another worked example for you. And this one 
is going to be on a slightly different scale. If you're happy at this point, turn off the video and get on with the questions yourselves. So, we've got a mitochondria. And I'm going to do the same thing this time. So we're going to rewrite out our equation. And it is important that you do that every single time. Magnification equals image size. So how big the picture is divided by the actual size. And just as in physics, you should always write out your equation and in longhand. So same thing again. We're going to measure how much we have got. So we've got four centimetres, which is 40 millimetres. So my M equals 40 millimetres divided by how much it actually said it was, which is 0 0.8. 0 0.8 micrometres equals whatever my magnification is. Now this magnification is going to be way bigger. We said that this one was 300. This is very clearly zoomed in a lot further, so we're expecting our magnification number to be a lot bigger because what we've got is a lot more zoomed in, and I can see that myself. So we need to change this millimetres into micrometres. So to do that, we have to times by a thousand. So 40 times 1,000 will give us 40,000 all over 0 0.8. And then that puts most of our numbers into micrometers. So we're now in the same unit. And we can just plug these numbers into our calculator. And I've got a magnification of 50,000. Now, knowing what we know about microscopes, let's have a look to see if that looks reasonable. So light microscopes can zoom in 1,500 times. So it can't be a light microscope. If I'm honest, I already knew that because I know that this is an electron microscope picture because I know them very well. Okay, is that too zoomed in? An electron can go up to a million and this is only 50,000. So that's reasonable. This is taken by an electron microscope. Just before we move on, I just want to go over really quickly how I've laid out my working and how I would like you to lay yours out. We've got the equation written out in full. I've got my working written with the units, which is really important because you get quite a lot of marks for magnification questions. And if you mess up your units, but it's obvious where you've messed it up, you can still gain some of your marks. And I would also suggest, especially if you have messy handwriting like I do, drawing a line under your actual answer so that when the examiner has a look at what you've done, they can find the number to be looking for because you've made it more obvious to them. So make sure that you are using the right version of the equation, measuring in millimetres at all times. Get your units the same and do your calculations.